And I will drink in coffee. <laughs> yeah, I'm not That's one coffee. for the books. <laughs> do that it's like super cold mm. <laughs> all right guys so we're actually in McKinley Park and there's Maria we're in uh we're in back of the yards it's actually a neighborhood in the south side of Chicago and you know it's a neighborhood with a lot of history and it was once home to the Union stockyards up until like 1971 because like Chicago was a hub and uh, there'd be like trains bringing in stuff and all that but enough about that today we're gonna be going to back of the yards coffee shop because you know this area is kind of like a coffee desert. There are no Starbucks around here. Uh, Maria wants to try their Café de Olla. And you know, I'm just gonna go along for the ride because I'm not really a big coffee drinker. Uh, hopefully they can recommend something for me. So you know what? Let's go check it out. State of Chiapas. Yeah. Yes, we do. Make sure that they get the best prices they can get, and we get the best coffee that we can get. Um, for down there, the situation is it's not it's not good for them. They get ripped off. Mm -hmm. um, most of the time, their whole harvest is like dirt cheap. So uh, what we do is that we help them increase the quality of their coffee, and that way they could get a better price not only from us but from other coffee um, companies and distributors that buy their coffee and sell it somewhere else. That's cool. I see that you guys also uh, donate one dollar from every uh, purchase. Uh, yes, a we do. A dollar from that transaction gets put into a community impact fund mm -hmm. and it gets donated to like different community uh, projects like keeping kids out of the streets, finding them work, which we actually do here too. Mm -hmm. uh, we take in a lot of interns, train them in the coffee world. They, they're Once they leave here, they're fully trained baristas. Ooh, they nice. can, go to Intelligentsia, Bridgeport, mm -hmm. Starbucks, if they like. <laughs> uh, wherever they want to go, but they leave here with the experience. You know? That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I was also reading that your location is also like one of the most sustainable buildings. Or something like that, right? Yeah. So, so like a green, green building. Yeah, so what we do is um, we try to keep waste to a minimum. Uh, we compost everything, most of our, all, almost all of our stuff is compostable. The sticks, the stirs that we have here, uh, cups, lids, even the plastic is uh, fully compostable. Uh, and we also compost all the ground coffee beans, mm -hmm. so we don't throw them out. We recycle everything. If it's not compostable, it's recyclable. The only things that we can't recycle are the vinegar bags, but we have no control of those. Dude, that's um, awesome. Uh, Helping the community and saving the world. One copy <laughs> at a time. <laughs> well, thank you so much, man. So you're getting your cold brew? Yeah, I'm getting my cold brew because I don't like hot stuff for some reason. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Awesome. Oh, man. Yeah. That's good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but the from Pupa it makes it kind of sweet but not too sweet. It's good. Oh. You're gonna like it. Oh, it is good. Coffee. Oh, that's good coffee, man. Thank you. This had my life changed. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> that coffee was really good. I didn't have to add anything else to it. Yeah, yeah it was really smooth, like you said. We'll try yours. Yeah, I'm gonna try mine now. So, this is the iced uh, dulce leche. So, this one was recommended to me by the barista because I don't, you know, I'm not a big coffee drinker. So, I was like, hey, what would be a coffee to convince me that I'm not a coffee drinker? I was like, I like, I do tend to drink like cold coffee or iced coffee. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's real good. Like after you mix it up, you get a slight sweetness. And the coffee's still not bitter, which I really appreciate. 
Oh, it's so good. It's a beautiful yeah. toast. Yeah. I'm trying to keep it healthy after Thanksgiving. <laughs> I don't do pretty bites. So. <laughs> All right. Mm. So I got the chocolate because I couldn't leave without getting this. So it's like um, espresso with chocolate, the spice with cinnamon, and I think it has ancho chili, chile ancho, ancho chili. Oh, it's really good. Very aromatic. So, can, do you get any of the spiciness from the ancho? Very slight, but it's good. You get more of the Mexican cinnamon. Mm. It's really good. What happened? Mm, you do get that cinnamon in. So we want to give a big thank you to the guys at Back of the Yards Coffee Shop for taking the time to talk to us, telling us about the coffee and the work they do with the community. Yeah, super nice people. Man. Yeah, they're really nice guys. I forgot to try the Cafe de Olla. Wow, that's right. That was one of the reasons we were going there, right? Yeah. Oh well. I'll go back for sure because yeah. it was really good coffee. And that way I can try the uh, Dulce de Leche iced yeah. coffee again. Yeah, I was impressed with you and I will never drink coffee, so unless it's called coffee, right? Yeah, so yeah every called. once in a while. So. <laughs> <laughs> well guys, if you know of any other places you'd like us to visit, give them a shout out in the comments yep. down below so we can go try them out. Absolutely. Yeah. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Seriously, Cafe de Olla is no joke. We went back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Cheers, people.